subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video Welcome to Jail Gate EAC lecture. We are in lecture number 60 of Signals and System. Here we are going to discuss about various properties of discrete time Fourier series coefficient. That is your CK. In the previous video lecture, we have discussed about CK. Okay, and and in the previous video lecture also, uh, like in I think 56th or 55th video lecture, we have understood couple of different Fourier series co uh, couple of different properties. of this continuous time fourier series coefficients and in the same method in the same table that we are going to also define the properties of discrete time fourier series coefficient that is ck now let's take the consideration if you have a discrete time signal x of n and you are going to represent the fourier series equivalent uh expansion of this x of n the subsequent the subsequent the subsequent fourier series coefficient will be ck similarly for y of n the periodic signal y of n if you when you are going to represent the subsequent fourier series the subsequent fourier series ka fourier coefficient will be dk so if you take this kind of consideration then the linearity property then the linear property if i am writing a into x of n Look here carefully. A into x of n plus b into y of n. Then the subsequent Fourier series coefficient will be the subsequent Fourier series coefficient will be what? A into c k. C k is the Fourier series coefficient for x of n plus b into d k. Clear? This is this is small c k. Okay, this c k only. clear for time shifting property very important my dear friend very important if it is get shifted your your signal is get shifted by m if your signal is ge get shifted by let's let let me put it n not okay if it is shifted by n not n not n not then your ck will be affected in this way look here carefully where omega not into k it can be represented by omega k clear i'm sorry m nahi n not this is n not no n not clear that means there will be the there will be one extra exponential uh, complex exponential factor which get multiplied okay frequency shifting property frequency shifting property means here you are going to multiply x of n is multiplied with a frequency component that is e to the power how it is going to affect how it is going to affect look here carefully ck clear this concept now conjugation property we know uh, if you replace x of n by its conjugate value then its a subsequent um fourier series coefficient will be c ka conjugate ka minus k clear this concept similarly for time reversal x of minus n will be replaced x of minus n will going to affect c of minus k time scaling property time scaling property that is if you are uh, replacing x of n by m instead of x of n you just did a scaling with 1 by m factor that is for n multiple of m for n multiple of m for n multiple of n for n multiple of m periodic with period m into n periodic with period m into n okay then your period this is period of m into n this is m into n okay now the subsequent fourier series coefficient will going to have a like this kind of changes look here carefully 1 by m 1 by m it's a very interesting into ck clear so ck is replaced by 1 by m into ck so there will be 
जो भी आप स्केलिंग फैक्टर मल्टीप्लाई करोगे इफ इट्स पीरियड इज हैविंग द मल्टीपल ऑफ दैट वैल्यू देन इट विल गोइंग टू गिव यू वन बाई एम और वन बाई ऑफ दैट टर्म लाइक द सेम टर्म विल गोइंग टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड आउटसाइड टू सी के क्लियर नाउ लेट्स लुक फॉर द मल्टीप्लीकेशन लुक यू क्या फली एक्स ऑफ एन इन टू वाई ऑफ एन ओके वट इज द सब्सिक्वेंट फोर ईयर सीरीज कोफिशियंट फॉर वाई ऑफ एन सॉरी डी के ओके then here you'll going to have you'll going to have cm into d of k minus m summation of summation of look here carefully summation of summation of m equals to 0 to n minus 1 n equals to 0 to n minus 1 cm dk m minus k minus m okay please remember this formula very very important for now if you go for the circular convolution look here carefully if you do the circular convolution it is extra okay it's like a bonus point you can say m equals to 0 to n minus 1 the real signals symmetry of real signals it is very important when your x of n is real the same concept the concept that we have studied in our um in our uh, continuous time for your coefficient it's the same concept uh for real and even when your x of n when your x of n is a real and even same condition when your x of n is a real and odd the same condition the things that we have learned in our continuous time domain the same coefficient ka property yahan pe bhi here also this the same concept will going to be um applied so when it is real and even ck will not going to get affected that means ck are uh, real ck is ck is a real and even but jab real and odd hota hai at that point of time ck is imaginary is imaginary and odd simple this concept clear this concept now coming back to parseval's relation it is a very important relation where it says the average average power p average power p of x of n is defined as is defined as average power p of x of n is defined as you can define it by P equals to one by n. We know this concept, right? N equals to zero to n minus one mod of x of n mod k square. This is the value that we have learned the average power k value for discrete time signals, right? Now the subsequent C k value will be the average power p in terms of Fourier series coefficient will be in terms of Fourier series coefficient will be look here carefully. P equals to p equals to summation of n i'm sorry k equals to 0 to n minus 1 k equals to 0 to n minus 1 ck mod k square clear that means uh, square so this is nothing but your parseval relation and please remember this concept i'll i'll come back to this concept once by uh, i'm done with a fourier transform we'll go to have detail analysis on lot of beautiful parts regarding bandwidth and 
it's um, how it is affecting your power spectral density all all kind of auto correlation correlation thing we'll we'll come back to this formulas and discussion but yahan pe main thoda sa aapko bata deta hu this sequence of ck square for different values of k is the distribution power as a function of frequency and it is called as power density spectrum or power spectral density of a periodic signals so ck mod ka square that is the fourier series coefficient ka modulus ka square it's a very simple thing uh, do not complicate it there is direct question which is asked from this parsevals relations and very important for your gate point of view okay please go through it please go through all of these properties um direct question will be asked these properties are very 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 important the fourier series coefficients property fourier transform property all of them are very important okay Thank you so much for watching this video lecture in the next video lecture we'll get into fourier transform okay see you